Good morning, people of the Privateer FX. Kicking it off today with a little bit of a Bitcoin chart here. That daily, uh, that daily bar yesterday is pretty bullish. I still think we have to, we have to pierce this 5,000 for capitulation. If you look around the media, Bloomberg, Wall Street Journal, FT. Pretty bearish sentiment. Uh, surprising bar yesterday. Kind of out of nowhere. Bitcoin caught a bid and now is higher. 63.43. I wonder if we're going to regret not buying those 6200s. Anyway, we shall see. Uh, we're going to stick with our plan. We have our core longs. Uh, but we are going to wait to add until we see what happens with this zone here, 5,500, 5,700. Um, really, 5,000 is, is kind of the line in the stand, the, the bull bear line in the sand for, for Bitcoin. Interesting stuff. Let's move over to Euro dollar. Next leg lower. Happened late last night, 5.30 Swiss time. 65 paid, which was nice. Uh, we've had a high of 32 since. Um, here's the deal. You all will remember 112.90. Because it was one of the classic classic levels of all time. This was back in May 2017. Very similar to the 115 level that we had last Friday. The reason I bring it up is if you just jog your memory a little bit, you'll, you'll remember it. If you go back in the charts and go back in your trading journals, you'll remember it. Uh, we see this as very, very serious support uh, first time down. So we are trimming shorts here greatly uh, and the first time down to 113 the figure we are going to go long just tactically and it's that powerful of support um, so trimming shorts here going long 113.05 112.92 We'll have to see what's going on as far as story goes, as far as where Dollar Turkey is, as far as, you know, you got to put the whole story together, but be careful. If you had the balls to hold your shorts from 115 all the way to here, I urge you to be careful at 113 to figure. Cable, CPI today, this is going to be a big number. A lot of red days there bearish engulfed at the low end of the range yesterday. We've already printed a new low today. I would argue that we're going to get a little bit of a uh, squeeze higher going into CPI. No one's going to add any risk pre-CPI. But there's very little, very, very little Support or chart points. 126.02 is the next next chart point. Not sure what to do with cable. Uh, if it's a hot one, uh, I think you can trade the top side, just because people are going to be short cable. Um, but we're not going to trade cable today. We're going to stick with the euro and play around maybe with this, some of this dollar yen. Let's have a look at this dollar yen back on the 111 handle kind of pierced that little death knock there market short dollar yen because of this Turkish thing and stocks and risk off blah 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 I kind of like this here uh, unfortunately at 111.42 43 the high today it's not really ideal for a break trade because you have that uh, Undoubted supply at 111.50 from the Japanese, but 
Why why shouldn't this go back up to one twelve? The dollar's bid. Now the dollar's bid kind of everywhere. It's not even a turkey story, the dollar's just kind of bid. And even if Euro does catch a bid, people are short Euro yen. If dollar turkey is below six forty and stocks are looking robust. Um, dollar yen higher looks all right. Uh, so we're going to keep a close eye on that and maybe wait for a 50 print and then buy through 50, accumulate smalls below 50 uh, with that kind of mentality there. Dollar Swiss coming back into the forefront. This thing's been lagging because of the risk off nature of this whole move. 99.85 is a break trade. We will be trading that today. Uh, I don't pretend to understand dollar Swiss and I'm not particularly too good at it. So we are just going to close our eyes and trade that and see how we go. Uh, Euro Swiss is, has uh, been hammered from 115.50 now to, to 112.80. Where's your support in Euro Swiss? It's it's 110. So kind of dicey this dollar Swiss idea. Now that I've spoken about it out loud, but we're gonna keep the risk very very tight. 99.85 is our number, and uh, we'll see how we go on that. So it's kind of an odd day, you know, we're, we're looking to buy euros down at 113, sort of 05 figure, 95, but we're also looking to buy dollar yen and buy dollar Swiss today. Basically kind of just dollar bulls, and but we're thinking that euro, at least for a tactical small bounce, is going to get held up at 112.90. Kind of sums it up. Let's go dollar turkey, annoying the hell out of me. At a bid last night at 632. According to my systems, 629 traded. According to this, 630, 41 traded. Somehow my bid didn't get filled. It's dollar turkey, weird shit happens. Um, the reason I was buying down there is because it was at the end of the New York session and obviously New Yorkers, God bless them, they have no idea how to trade dollar turkey. They don't know what the hell they're doing, so there was just sort of a stop run. Anyway, I didn't buy any, which is a shame because we're 6.45 now. Uh, but this 6.40 area, sort of on a, on a daily close or maybe even a four hourly close, is, um, is important below 640, less tension, above 640, it's back on. If experience is any indication, we'll have another sort of confused day in dollar turkey today, confused day for risk, and then we will revert back to trend on Thursday, and then we'll smash it on Friday heading into the weekend. So, if you want to look ahead a little bit, this is what we're thinking. I don't, uh, no longer bidding down there, obviously, uh, as the Turks come in, it's a little bit more diff tricky to fade. So I don't have a uh, dog in this fight right now, but just watching it as a risk barometer. Stocks have done nothing. Um, we're still, of course, short Nazi. Really, uh, just doing nothing. I mean, annoying moves back up to 70. Exciting moves down to 86 yesterday. Uh, or no, yesterday, exciting moves down to 03. But 74.40 still. Waiting for the next leg. Um, so, patience on stocks. I've said enough. Good luck, people. Focusing on this 113 level in euro, dollar yen. We're watching how this 40-50 level trades, and God bless the dollar Swiss. We'll 
buying 285. Good luck, people. Ciao.